Hey guys, Tom here with some more Warlords Under Siege, and we are on the second map, because we beat the first one in my last video, if you haven't checked it out. I will put a link to that at the end of the video. Um, so we're going to do Swordsman in this video, and I'll show you what we're starting with. We're starting with Wall 1, Arrow Tower 1, Lumber Mill 1, Quarry 1, Swordsman Barracks 1, and Iron Mine 1. That just kind of gets everything started. Uh, we will move our champion over there, and we start with a set of uh, Guardians, which is nice. That's a level 2... Uh, set of troops We'll get our lumber going our quarry going We need to get a little bit more for that I Like to get the iron mine right out of the gate. It's it's vital for getting all of your things upgraded Early so just get it done and then let that start accumulating early game This is a this is an interesting map though it, it, the Having the enemies come from both directions You've really got to spread yourself properly or else you're, you'll be uh, in big trouble. Put up some towers here. There we go. Move these guys back so that they're kind of in the right spot for, for a little assistance. We'll get the second. There's two iron mines, so you can really, really get those pumping out. I think we can bump the speed up a little bit, just a touch the early game. Just a touch. I still really, really... I, I've been loving this game. It's it's just a... Uh, you know, it's just a fun game to, to see see how far you can get. See what see what builds work on certain maps. Um, Inspiring Presence is really fun. Uh, but I think Influential Command or just more hit points... Let's go Influential Command to start. That just gives us more troops right out of the gate that we can uh, use. I think that's a, a reasonable play. Lots of towers up. Yeah, towers are taking care of business there. I'm going to put a barracks up so that we can actually start getting troops out. And thanks to the the fantastic people that watch my videos and comment on them and give me tips and tricks because you know it's not easy when you're just starting out i uh, now realize that you can upgrade troops without uh waiting for them to die i was waiting for them to die cost of recruitment and unit upgrades reduced that's kind of nice you can't do that but we can actually we're gonna we're gonna bring out a, a few troops from there a couple on this side a couple on this side the enemies like to skim along the edges, which makes it a little bit tricky to work around. Walls up. There we go. I like letting my champion do a lot of work early. Uh, Iron Mine 2? Mining tools could be really good. Swordsman regiments. Let's actually do that. 60% more troops. We've got, we've got five sets of troops already on this side. We'll be good. This is feeling like a, a pretty decent start. Do we have farms? No, we don't have farms yet, but we, we do have influential commands, so that's fine. Hey, 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 hey. Lumber mill two. Uh, ooh, now we'll do lumber mill. Let's 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 make sure we get the resources pumping out. I think we can survive a little bit with the uh, level of troops that we've got. It's looking like we're good anyway. You're good until you're not good. Gate? No. Um, do the bombard. So that fires a, a cannonball out of there every so often. Gets back into the into this range. He, every time he levels up, you can see he's got an XP bar down here that's filling up. It just gives more damage and all all, all kinds of good stuff, right? It's nice to have. 
Crane crew more damage from towers. A little, little more. That guy got bopped. That's fine. Farm, maybe? Would be a beautiful thing. We're gonna go up to Swordsman Barracks, too. Now we can start upgrading our troops. Right? So I click on the troop, and then down here I can actually pick what I want to go. Guardians or Templars. I'm just gonna go Templars this time, I think. But that makes our damage just go, like, through the roof. And these guys up. Yeah, there we go. Damage is good. We just need farms. Veteran Swordsman, 20% more damage? Uh, you know what? No. We'll do Quarry. Get some more stones. This is feeling not bad. Not a bad start. Boss comes in about a minute. Farm? Yes. Get that started. There, now we can increase our troop count. We'll bring out the sets of guardians on both sides. Not bad. So far, so good. Comes first boss. Let's see what side he comes on. It's a little bit different having the boss appear like this. Arm two of swordsman, forty percent more hit points. Go farm two. Get that troop count up even more. Okay, so we'll upgrade. Upgrade. I'm saving that spot for potentially putting a... Hopefully putting a blacksmith down and getting the upgrades from that. Lumber mill? That seems to be our bottleneck right now, actually. Um, if you go lumber mill 3 or we'll just take 100% more wood. Lumberjack tools start getting that thing pumping out. I like playing on this speed. It makes the it makes the game just go just fast enough. Oh, there he is. That's not good. Don't want him doing that. We'll get in his face. You guys go help. Um, tough swordsman, more hit points. I think we just bump up the farm right now. So many more troops available. Go get him. Go get him. We're already up to 14 uh, sets of troops. Everything's dying fast now. Nice. Water Blessing is one of my favorite upgrades for our champion because it heals and it actually restores troops in, in the in the group. So I think I'm going to take that. Wind Blessing I could actually take off, but for this map it's kind of nice if you want to run back and forth with your with your champion. For, for being able to navigate back and forth, it's a nice little thing. Get an upgrade of this. Let's, let's, let's do some healing. Everybody can back up again. You guys are you guys are in trouble. We'll just bring out some fresh troops for those. Yeah, like we got we got piles of troops. I think we actually could use more on the other side. Eight. Um, it's gonna be important. 
Oh, let's do blacksmith now. Get the boost. You can get lots of you can get lots of nice little boosts from uh, your blacksmith if you level it up. And we could do masonry tools for sixty percent. I'm actually gonna do this. Let's go level three. If I had the hundred percent upgrade, I would do. It. Still have houses to upgrade too. Wood is still our bottleneck. Kind of stinks. Um, iron mine too. Get a little bit more resources. I think it's this side that needs the help. Veteran swordsman, more damage? Ooh, that's kind of nice, isn't it? But we need this. Now we're now we'll be pumping out the uh, the wood. No more worrying about that. I wonder if there's a card that eventually gives you more uh, movement speed. Inspiring Presence is nice for your hero upgrade. Your troops around you take less damage and deal more damage. It's really nice. I'm going to do it. That, that's a pretty big swing in damage uh, output. Any troops over here? Couple guys taking a hit. Um, tough swordsman, uh, more hit points or more damage? Let's go with... I'm going to go with the hit points. I'm going to take 40% more hit points. Damage is likely better to do. We'll, we'll take hit points this time. The reason I think damage is better is I just don't think we're going to have issues. Um, resource issues here. Now that we've got all of our stuff up, I don't think we're going to have to worry about replacing troops so much. Blacksmith 2 is a beautiful thing. Let's take that. So it comes with more uh, upgrades. Increase the damage of all units by 20%. And increase the health of all units by 20%. We still have more housing upgrades to do as well. These are maxed. There we go. Even more troops. Let's keep on wandering out. Stop going for walks. I think we're in... I think everything's pretty much maxed out. I'm going to tear this down now. From what I've seen in my runs anyway, it, it always appears like those upgrades are permanent. Once you do them. We got 21 troops. Out to this side. Oh, Blacksmith 3. I don't think I've ever done it. I'm impatient like that. Um, movement? No. Reinforced towers? No. Walls? No. We'll just do champion. Let him do 40% more damage. 
his damage at? 176? You guys are just hanging out. Well, again, we don't have to worry about replacing troops. We've got so many troops that it's just like... It's... If they die, it's okay. Right? Like, it, it's not the end of the world. Have to replace a troop at this point. We've got thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of materials. We back off. Swordsman Barracks 3. There we go. And then we probably should work on gates and walls and stuff like that. Now we can start upgrading the big stuff. Lion Guard. Lion Guard. Yes. Things are going to get real now. If I upgrade that, does it heal them? Not so much, eh? Probably not worth it, really. Oh well, we're doing it. Get them all upgraded. Got one troop. Uh, let's put out these guys. Big damage dudes. Paladins. And mm, let's go with. I don't want to do this. Mining tools. Upgrade. Upgrade. Everybody gets an upgrade. Look at us go. Well, these Lion Guard are just incredibly tanky. They also deal, like, way more damage than what we were dealing. Get ready to just back off. Let's let the towers do a little bit. Lion Guard over here. We probably lost some troops over here. Hey! But everybody just behaves for a second. Backs up so that we can see what our defensive uh, position looks like. Gate 1... More damage. We should probably put gates up sooner or later here. I don't know if I need it, but I feel like I should just do it. Be on the safe side. And then, of course, we end up with the carts that get stuck on the gates and whatever, but... I think we'll do it. It's a pain in my butt to have to work these gates, so I, I try to hold off as long as I possibly can. What are these guys doing? What are they doing? Doing a little dance there. Now I just kind of do this positioning constantly. Oh, that's the second boss. We're going to have to actually move out on him because he... He does some funky stuff. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, he does some funky stuff to us. Where are... I haven't seen Archer Tower 2 yet, have I? Nope. Uh, let's do 20% uh, more damage. Did we already kill him? I think we already killed him. Our damage is just, like, really, really good. These guys just got... They went from 830 to 880. Back him up. Iron Mine. Am I hurting for that? Not really. I'm gonna do this. I, I I never really I've never really given him that many upgrades. It's gonna be fun to have have him boosted. Watch me have the deck screwed up. I may have screwed up my deck, and I'm sitting here on top of like um sitting here without the ability to upgrade my my towers or something <laughs> walls are more important at this stage anyway than towers at least in my opinion
We are still playing at a faster speed, correct? Oh, we weren't. We weren't! There's wall two. We better take that. Yeah, we better take that. Be on the safe side. Let's play it a little safe. Those up. Just gotta back up. Yeah, there's that stupid guy hanging out at the gate again. Another guy coming to hang out at the gate. I don't think I have. I don't think I have tower two and three in in, my, in this uh, deck. This could be really good. Reinforced walls might be really important, but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna give him another card. There, now he's full, I think. Yeah. But he's gonna be doing a lot more damage than I've ever had him doing, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah, he's like one shot and dudes out there. Because the poison does does a good chunk of damage over time. Stuff. Oh, I'll let you in. Hey, can I let you in? There we go. We might as well. Gate two. Wall three. Gate two actually comes with an upgrade. Kind of fun. We're gonna do we're gonna do uh, wall. Comes with like a little totem thing that you your statue that you can do. Upgrade. Upgrade. There. Now we're looking good. What the hell are these guys doing? Even the charge. Everybody just stand back, okay? No need to be a hero. I'm not certain, but I think pretty much on this level from my experience i think that there, there's nothing like on the first uh, map that's really a a huge problem for rushing the gate i think yeah i guess they don't have towers i gotta i gotta fix this deck um reinforced walls eight two yeah we'll do walls Guy hanging out. The gate's there though to just kind of like slow down anybody that might bust through. It's at least at least does that. On on the first world, uh, whatever it's called, Valley of the Damned, I think. Um, you really uh, you need to have uh, you need to have gates at the end, or else those because those rock trolls just like try to walk right through through the front door constantly. so good oh here we go final boss see where he shows up hopefully it's on the other side because that's where our champion is right now Where is he? There he is. Wild hunt. Yeah. He's a little bit tough. Got a nice 270,000 uh, HP. But we can start sending... Anybody that dies can start... Like, when guys die on this side... We already kill everything on this side? We did. Okay. So... We start going this way. We'll open the gate. 
Open the gate. Right? Everybody just swarm him. Get him. I need a little bit of work. Okay, now. Warm. More damage. He's in trouble. <laughs> I can't even see him in there. He got. He's over halfway dead. And and everybody's in that circle, so our nature's blessing is just, I think that's what it is. Uh, our water blessing is just healing all of our dudes constantly in here. We win. There we go. Passage of the dead done. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.